got out here late start you know late start for the morning although uh the sun has just come up it is a late start for me um <laughs> wasn't feeling too good this morning uh so i kind of took an extra hour to get out of the house um having laid back on the couch contemplated if i was gonna go out or not if i was gonna make it but i had to push myself you know sometimes you gotta you gotta push yourself you gotta force yourself you know gotta get that gotta get that grind in you know everybody everybody wishes they could stay home when they don't feel good but uh yeah it's been one thing after another for me uh, as far as plans go when i trying to get back in the kayak um so today another thing you know wasn't feeling good so but i wasn't gonna i wasn't gonna let that deter me from coming out today that was a big boil right there that was a nice guy right there i think that was a probably a red or a trout but yeah i wasn't letting anything deter me today i wanted to come out i wanted to get back in the kayak i always think it seems like things pop up when i'm uh have the kayak all ready to roll but um we are back out here today in beautiful west bay it's just uh missed the sun coming up sun's up behind us now it's gonna be hot heat index 100 degree weather summertime hot time warm time and uh not much of a bite forecast today so i'm hoping that i can get on them quick i'm hoping that i can get on them early and this is a little bit of a slick I just rode through. Oh my gosh. No, nope, it's a wind slick. It's going all the way back over there. All right, good. I don't feel bad now. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go and do so. Like the video. Leave a comment. All of that helps out tremendously. And if you want to further support the channel, then uh, jump over there. Click below. There's a, in the description section, there's a Patreon link. Like I said, you want to further support the channel, help those in need, like me, I'm a starving artist. <laughs> but yeah, click on there, join Patreon today. Appreciate you guys. But yeah, let's get fishing. I'm going to get moving. Get them legs going. Let's see. Get them legs going. Go, 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 go. Something blew up on it, but he didn't take it. He didn't get it all. Let's see if we can make him do that again. Dang it. That was a nice big blow up too. Might have been a trout. Kind of looked like one. <clears throat> Since he blew it up, I, I caught my own line and then it wasn't it went it was submerged. And we'll see if we can get him to bite again. And I was thinking, you know, with the oysters here, maybe, maybe the fish got pushed off a little bit. The lower water conditions, you know, bait gets pushed off. Maybe the fish got pushed off too. He was big though. That was a big one. Kind of made me nervous because I got I got this uh, this real light set up. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh. I hope uh, I, hope I can pull him in on this. <laughs> We just have to let him run. Yeah, we have to let him run. Do his thing. Yeah, but I'm just kind of just walking the dog and just pausing. And, and as soon as I stopped, he he popped at it. But he whacked it. It's hard for me to believe that. There he goes again. There he goes. Got him that time. Oh, is that a ladyfish? He came all the way out of the water like a ladyfish. Oh, he came off. 
I think it was a ladyfish. Yeah, I think it was a ladyfish. Um, it came all the all the way out of the water like a ladyfish, but hmm, maybe it was a trout. Sometimes if I go back and watch the video, I can I can tell what it was. It was definitely trout or ladyfish, but either way, um, he was small. It might have been might have been 14, maybe if I'm lucky, 15 inches. But there he goes again. He missed it that time. He's doing it again. It's trout. It's trout. It's definitely trout. Yeah, there's trout right out here. It's hard to believe they were missing them with this uh, with a dual treble hook. And these uh, these hooks that come on this Mansfield knocker, they're <laughs> they do the job. They there's some good hooks. They curve kind of curve inward too. Oh, somebody. He chased it for a second. I need to slow it down just a hair. I'm trying to kind of watch my drift. I don't want to drift over where else catch him. I think I'm pretty close. I'm on the almost on the spot where where I was. Might have to back up just a little bit. I don't want to drift over him. Trout can be spooky, you know, they can hear the, any kind of noise, the slap of the, oh, there he goes right there. He was right there. The little slap of the waves on your kayak. And that can really spook them off. Well, kind of pushed off. They, they pushed out of this area. And I, I'm disappointed that I didn't get one. Um, it was nice to see him blow up. Uh, in case you are looking for a top water, this is a good top water. Um, use it a couple times now. It's almost like a peanut shape top water. Real nice. Real nice hooks in it on it. Mansfield knockers, I believe that's Mansfield knockers. I'll leave all the information in the description section of the video. I know I'm not getting anything from them. I know people are so, always so skeptical. What are you selling? How much you making? I I bought these out of my own pocket like I do 99% of my stuff and uh, a friend recommended them and I've been using them well, it's probably my second trip using them uh, something that I'll probably be really just throwing out of my kayak when I am fishing around some of these reefs all right so one of the things you want to do is when you are fishing for redfish flounder trout you want to kind of fish the grass line uh, in this case I have a tan of goat one and I'm just gonna start working down this grass line and just cast i'm not gonna get because the water level is real low so i'm not gonna cast like into the grass line it's kind of you know the sun's kind of out already so it's kind of very warm on that side but as the sun starts coming up some of the baits are pushing off the grass and they'll start coming out more into a little bit more open water so when that happens a lot of the predator fish will, will chase them sometimes the predator fish will stay around the grass line but right now I know there's a few little reefs right in here so I don't want to necessarily cast all the way into the grass line because I don't want to get hung up so I'm going to cast on a little bit on the outside of those reefs uh, I'm seeing a decent amount of mullet move around this area so uh, I'm hoping that uh, that yeah I can get a red um, I scared a couple little guys over here coming over here so I'm hoping that there's another there's a there's another red over here so let's see So I'm just slow retrieving, straight retrieve. We're we're in pretty shallow water, maybe just a maybe two feet at the most. I'm casting a little more shallow water, so not not a whole lot of reason to be bouncing. Or I mean, you can give a twitch every once in a while, but I'm kind of straight retrieving, and it's either touching bottom or very close to the bottom. There you go. I'm on bottom now. I felt that rub, but uh, yeah, so. Just a slow, steady retrieve. If a red or a flounder is in the area, maybe even a speckler, they uh, they might give chase and uh, you know come after this. That gope is a very effective lure. It offers good presentation as it moves through the water, and also offers very good scent. It is I like it for its scent. Um, like I said, it does look good while it's moving through the water, but I definitely, definitely 
like to use it because of the scent. So in cases where we're having uh, fish having issues committing and not really taking the bite like I would like them to, this uh, this scent can really make them like if they they might maybe nip it once or twice, but this scent will really make them really commit and uh, really get that lure down their their throat. If they do a one little tap, they might come back and hit it a second time. Just had a red yank on this. There he goes. There he goes. Yep, there he goes. Be nice red. Yeah, he's in, he'll be slot. He'll be close, but he'll be slot, I think. Nope. Come on. There we go. There we go, buddy. Yeah, just kind of casting around this grass line. And uh, sorry I missed the hook set. I was just kind of blind casting around the grass line a little bit. And um, not too deep of water right here. I mean, you can see it's kind of kind of shallow. I did see uh, I did see a couple of couple of disturbances that kind of look like uh like there were a fish uh but you know there's been so much mullet in the area I wasn't too too concerned with it yeah but just got them on that tandem go like i said see a little bit of boils a little bit of mullet kind of moving so i just kind of blind casting and as i was slow retrieving i felt like a little bump and then i kind of just slowed down even more and then he took it uh, Hopefully he's slot because it kind of looks like he uh, he might have choked it. Oh, I have no lippers today, no fish grips, so we're gonna have to uh, gonna have to hold on to you pretty good, buddy. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, God, hey. come on! So much for holding on him pretty good, and he got that he got that uh got the gope, the tandem gope, the the black and white one. All right, let's see. Goodness gracious. Let's put you up there. No, he is slot. Look at that. 20 and a half. I thought he was gonna not make it. He was almost 20 and three quarters. Yeah, so he's gonna be a slot, so I'm gonna put him in the ice chest. He's kind of small, but I'm gonna put him in the ice chest. I'm gonna do uh take him home and cook him. I'm not gonna I don't think I'm necessary to do a catch and cook, but we got one. Awesome. We got a slot. Kind of what I was targeting. You kind of see there it's uh, down his mouth there yeah he just uh, he committed he took it and uh, I'm loving it so awesome awesome you know those other guys this morning were never wanted to uh, really commit and I'm glad this guy committed all right let's kind of start working this little area on the bottom let's see if we can get a flounder Keep our fingers crossed for a red. And I get back into it. Get back in the mode. I kind of, you know, casting the casting and casting and casting and casting. And I haven't been coming up with with a whole lot. Um, not really much at all. Uh, I can see the bottom a little better over here. Uh, just a little, maybe a little more protected from the winds. These south, these heavy south winds that we had recently. So hopefully, with this little bit of a cleaner water it's uh it's gonna produce a little more yeah it's a little more cleaner it's gonna produce a little more uh fish activity so plenty of bait ton of bait ton of bait ton of bait i'm scaring bait and uh while the bait's getting scared they're also scaring making like bigger boils too so they're probably scaring some predator fish that uh i normally would be targeting or, or casting on but it's just been very very cloudy very very murky and uh hopefully we can get away from some of that and and start hooking up there we go 
There we go. Got that guy. We're waiting on you, buddy. Come on. We're waiting on you. Ugh. Nice. Nice. Got him. He's definitely going to be a slot. It's going to be a slot, 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 baby. Just casting and casting, you know, just work my way all the way around here, casting shallow, casting a little off off the bank, and um, just sitting right here, just casting and casting. Wind's coming this way, so it'll kind of just have me in place a little bit. So, uh, with that, caught me my shoe, <laughs> caught me a flounder. Um, nice guy, he is still fresh. A little on the green side yeah got him you know that's a gope there i got him with the uh it's like a white and purple white and purple gope. i was just thinking about putting a uh, a white on uh changing it up thinking well maybe they'll they'll well, they'll want like a full like a full white um mullet swim mullet and uh Got this guy to commit. Come on, bud, you're gonna make me make me hook myself with the other one. This guy to commit. But he's slot. He uh he's close. Like maybe 16, 17. We'll see. We'll put him on the board here in a second. Let's see if we can uh, get him to cooperate just a little bit more and stay stay kind of chill because I don't have my lippers like like I was saying earlier, I don't have my lippers, so I'm gonna leave him on the jig head while I handle him to what to measure him. Let's get a little more slack there. Let's see what he's gonna be. This is when they like to jump. Yep, he is that to be 15, he's 16 and a quarter. And uh we're gonna keep this guy. We are gonna keep you, buddy. Uh, so that makes my second fish. Uh, that was in harvest. That's kind of what I wanted. Was the harvest? I wanted to harvest a couple reds, but I'll, I'll harvest this flounder because um, the red was uh, gonna be half shell. This guy, I might end up baking. Might let my uh, might let my wife um, let's fry him or or bake him. But I wanted to do a couple of fish on a half shell this flounder would not be on a half shell but he's a he's a keeper hopefully we can get him in that bag without him getting away <laughs> got my strong hand on him let's see all right this is one that you'd like to escape no complaints yeah we got him this is what i got him on right here this uh kind of like a swim shed i'm not too sure but it got a little purple in it a little bit of white and uh huh, nice car yeah i always like to use white gope white gope always seems to, to come in pretty clutch um you know the water is a little dirtier today so if i would have known it was dirty i probably would have went like a with a new penny or a root beer with a shoes towel that's always good 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 uh gopes to use when it's a little more stained i do have that black and white one kind of like a marble little twist swirl to it uh i i just happen to have that one with me i wasn't planning on fishing with any gope today um so i i just whatever i had in my kayak already in my crate is is what i is what i put on so <sighs> There we go, that's a flounder. Just straight retrieving it. Yeah, I got him now. There we go. <clears throat> got that guy. Woo! I was just straight retrieving it from that drain. And just right here in front of me, he just he just popped it. Another slot. Golly. But it hadn't been easy, man. I've been doing a lot of casting, a lot of just barely creeping barely creeping along the grass line and just casting and casting but this guy was behind me i've been casting more in, in this side and this guy was kind of kind of the in between shallow and uh, deeper that's a flounder right there too 
Like, see, I, I, I've been like, I don't know if they're in the shallow. I don't know if they're in the deep because I wouldn't think they would be because it's so warm. You know, the water's so warm. So I would think that they wouldn't be in uh, too much shallow water, and that's less than a foot. This guy probably came out like maybe about a couple feet. So um, not that it's like, not that they have to be in super deep water, but I'm just saying. I wouldn't have thought that they would be in less than a foot of water. There's a nice guy right there. Yeah, we're gonna get him on the board and get him measured and see where he's gonna be at. And uh, he's another almost cookie cutter, 16 and two quarters. Oh, golly, golly. That, that other, that second jig got my finger. Uh, a little punk. Man, that's it's that's why I am a firm believer of lippers, man. You can secure fish so easy with a pair of lippers. Yeah, a little bit of blood there, but it's a brand new, brand new lure, so a brand new jig head. So I'm not worried about it. And I have no rust on it. But yeah, that's why I'm a firm believer in using a net and uh, using lippers because you know I've been hooked myself before or had the fish hook me in the calf before by not using a net by just swinging them over here and when I swung them he hit underneath here and then and then I hooked myself for bad I some people be like oh why do you use a net if they're undersized fish well because precisely it was an undersized fish that really hooked the back of my calf pretty good the only ever the only time I ever been hooked but uh, that's why I've always used a net always use lippers <laughs> It might hurt people's feelings because they see me uh, netting an undersized trout or whatever. You know, removing the slime off and all that. I, I don't want to hurt a trout, but more important than the trout is my own safety. So, don't want to hurt myself either. You know, nice little guy. He got a little bit of thickness to him. Not not too, too thick, but he got a little bit of thickness. Bup, 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 bup. A little two-faced guy. I'm going to put him in the old cooler. Cooler, cooler. See if we can do it without losing them. This guy's already tried to escape once. Oh, oh, yeah, I knew you would. I knew you would try that. I knew you would try that. There you go. Let's see. Uh, remove these polarized glasses. Look at this. It is... Feel like temps 107 degrees. Woo! It is hot. You can't even touch the side of the kayak. It's hot right here. I could, I could cook an egg on that kayak. Oh, my gosh. Man, oh man, oh man, you know, it is just really silty. It's really dirty. The, the water is, is pretty dirty. I'm gonna fish a little bit more on the way back, but you know, that is going to do it. You know what, I caught three slot, two flounder, one red, and that's it. That is all I pulled out of the water. Not counting that a hardhead, although I'm very proud of myself for catching a hardhead. Let me tell you, I did myself. That's a, that's a slam, that's a slam. Um, in some circles, that's a slam, but yeah, I'm gonna I'll cast a little bit on the way back and uh, Fish a little bit more but a hundred over a hundred degrees. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I am hungry I am thirsty. I am almost you know, I I made a mistake. I brought my I Have a few of these and this is one like I like to keep during like like more winter time There's not a whole lot doesn't hold a whole lot um, and then I'll bring my ice chest and you can look behind me I don't have my ice chest I have my cooler for the fish so I should have brought, stuck a couple drinks in there but uh, I didn't that's all I brought so I'm almost out of that I'm saving the, for the rest of it till I get back to the landing luckily for me I do have a few Gatorade in the truck so hopefully they're they're cold and uh, yeah I everything was against me this morning I was sick I was sick all night I Woke up in the morning. I was sick a few more times. Just you know, just stomach issues. You know, just and I'm feeling I'm feeling funky out here. I'm feeling pretty fatigued, and and I got all kind of crazy stuff going in my stomach all day. I thought I was have to hang off the side of my kayak a couple times, but hey, I made it this far. <laughs> I think I can make it back with the rest of the way. But um, I know that's TMI. That's TMI. But we're family here, right? Right? We're, we're family. We, we've been around. We've been around each other long enough where I can share some of that stuff. But everything was stacked against me this morning morning and uh push through it you gotta push through it. you gotta go to work and this is my job this is what i do gotta grind it out you gotta go you gotta play hurt you know
know, I told my son that all the time. You got to play hurt. So uh, I definitely played hurt today. Um, I hope you had a good time. I, I, I'm still kicking my butt. I wish, kicking myself in the butt. I wish I would have got those trout this morning. Missed with them on, missed them on top water. And I, I would have got a real slam. But yeah, I had a good time. Um, if you want to continue to support, support the channel, please join Patreon. I will go home and throw a fishing report up for all the guys and girls and anybody that's looking to do any fishing uh, this weekend because today is Thursday. So anybody, I heard something loud behind me. Um, anybody that's going to be doing any fishing in the next couple days, kind of give them an insight. Let them know. Um, you know what the water conditions were what the bait that i'm seeing what baits that i use and just overall even if they don't come fish uh west bay it still kind of gives them a general idea um even if they're fish not fishing this part of west bay it still gives them a general idea uh of what's going on or what they might see wherever they may be fishing but thanks again guys thanks again guys don't forget like comment subscribe share and uh, until next time hope you catch me hooking up